guys, today we're gonna find out what 3D is and how it works. Why you will need to wear special goggles when watching 3D. Why pirates can't watch 3D. And also how to make 3D in Scratch. So if you think this is gonna be interesting, then let's get started. Not long ago, I was at Universal Studios in Orlando. Most of the roller coasters and attractions at Universal Studios ha had 3D in them. And I have to say, it's really cool how your eyes and brain collaborate with each other to make your body feel like, feel, have a way different feeling about it. And 3D is getting more and more popular and more and more people are having 3D at their houses and there and there's more and more new 3D games and a lot of people are having virtual reality these days. So every day 3D is becoming more and more popular. So I decided to learn about how 3D works, and I have to say, it's really amazing. Most of you will probably think that 3D is a pretty new technology, but what if I tell you that 3D, the first 3D movie was shown more than 100 years ago. Yes, 3D has a way longer story than I thought. So the world around us is three-dimensional, and let's see how our eyes see it. So when you're looking at something, both of your eyes see a slightly different picture. And this is really easy to test. So here's how you do it. Grab an object, for example, I got, a, I got my Christmas mug, and, and put it for, far away from you, like this. Then, so you'll see the same picture, right? Then move it, then slowly move it closer and closer to your eyes. Then close one eye, you, and you'll see one picture. Then close the other eye, and then close that eye and open the other one. You'll see something up, you'll see something else, right? Our powerful brain takes these two pictures and make and does all the necessary calculations to make a sense of depth. So that's how our eyes and our brain take the re see the real 3D world. But if you take a look at a computer or a movie theater screen, you're going to see that it's flat. They don't have depth. The 3D that you see in virtual reality or when you're going to a 3D movie is not real. It's, it's just an optical illusion. So clever scientists and, engineer and engineers understood that the only thing you have to do for that is to try to trick your brain. So the brain sees a 2D picture, a 2D picture, but will think it's 3D. But to trick our brain, you just need to show two different, uh, two different pictures on uh, for your eyes, right? But how would you show two different pictures to your eyes? One way is to actually split up your eyes and to show them different pictures. That's how a virtual reality headset works. So if you look at the lens in a virtual, behind the lens in a virtual reality screen, then the screen is also split in half. So your eyes see two different pictures. So in virtual reality, we learned how it makes a 3D optical illusion. But what about a 3D theater screen? It's not split in half, and it doesn't have lens that, that split your eyes. In 3D movie theaters, they use a little different technology. And the goggles that they give you also play a key role. If you ever try to take off your goggles in a 3D movie, which I have, and I saw how it looks, you'll you'll probably you'll probably see see that there's two picture two same pictures that are uh, that are moved slightly to the sides, slightly. 
So 3D movies are made in a very specific way where two uh, where two pictures combine into one. The 3D goggles are uh, have filters on the lens to make one lens lens see see only one picture, but the other one it just it kind of like ignores. Same with the other lens. It ignores the one that this lens sees, but the but it doesn't ignore the other picture. So there's two technologies actually used in this. One, have you you've probably seen 3D goggles where one one lens is blue and the other one is red, and but in Universal they use ju they just use clear goggles. The goggles with the two different colored lenses, they fil they filter the pictures by color. Or another technique when the when the clear lenses the clear lenses are polarized. And they also let one eye see one picture and the other eye to see a different picture. So now you probably understood why a pirate with an eye patch won't won't be able to see a 3D movie. And now it's time to do something. Since we're pretty familiar with Scratch, let's do it there. We we're gonna learn how to make 3D sprites. And of course, you're not gonna have to buy 3D goggles and wear them to see the 3D. But it's just another uh, uh, trick. First step in making 3D objects or sprites is to create a costume. So this is done by slicing the object into uh, into a couple different slices like a lemon. So for example, a cylinder will be a stack of circles. So let's start off from a simple example. For example, the worm I saw in uh, uh, in a roller coaster at King Kong. So here I made, I just made a background and uh, and a simple sprite. By the way, this background is a picture from King Kong. Obviously, since we're making the worm from King Kong. So I just need two costumes for the worm. And the first one is just a simple circle that's going to play the role of the body of the worm. And the second costume is like the jaws of the worm. Great, now let's make the program for it. I'm going to move this worm depending on the the moving of the mouse. But since the numbers of X and Y are really big, like 10, 30, 70, 100, we're going to have to we're going to have to make the numbers smaller. Let's see what we're going to see now. So the mouse is moving in a a big distance, but the but the circle is moving in a small distance, but in the same direction the mouse is going. So if we make the number greater, then the circle is going to move in a greater distance. So now all we need to do is, we have one circle, but now we need to make a lot of them. So, but Scratch recommends 16. So now look what we have. It looks like a spring, huh? It looks like 3D, right? Like the cylinder I showed you as an example. You might ask, why didn't I take just one one of the code and put it in a six repeat sixteen times loop? The reason is because that loop works in a special way. If you don't believe me, then look.
See, so now let's change everything like it was. There you go. Now, the last thing we have to add is the costume for the jaws. But now, let's make something more complex and interesting. So now, we're going to see how to make a 3D person. So for it, so it to be easier to for you to imagine it, it's like slicing. Uh, I got a Lego minifigure for it to be easier for you to imagine. So it's like slicing it in a, in a, in a couple pieces. See? So here I added co a lot of costumes that are going to make it look 3D. It works exactly the same like our worm. The only difference is that for the person we need more different costumes. Like a costume for the head, a costume for the shoes, a costume for the hair, a costume for the shirt. And some of the costumes we're also going to use a couple times. For example, the costumes of the pants. So this is the costume for the pants. It might look weird, but it will work when you see it later. And the program's going to be exactly the same like the program for the worm. And the program's already saved in my backpack, so I don't have to waste all this time. So that's the 3D person that came out. Isn't that cool? Try your own 3D objects in Scratch, too. I'll, I'll be very happy to see them in the comments. So now I hope 3D doesn't look like magic to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if you liked that video, and see you in my next video. Bye!